Hello, this is just a quick video, might be a long video, I cover a lot of things of what you can try and do to gain access to your My Unisa student portal. Um, so if you've tried all the steps and things that I'm doing in this video and you're still not getting access to your Unisa website um, or the student portal, it's probably that there's a problem at Unisa side. Other than that, let's jump in it. I'm going to go very slow, very from the fundamental from the fundamental things like if you've never accessed the portal until like if you've, you've accessed the portal and you're having issues right so just have patient in the video maybe skip through it to the parts that actually matter so let's first look at the best way to get onto the uh, the portal um if you're using an apple computer right use a safari browser um or you can even use the google chrome browser on the apple computer um, like I'm using a, a, a Windows computer, right? So and I'm using this Google Chrome browser. Mine just look, maybe looks a bit different, but uh, just make sure you're using this um, this Google Chrome Google Chrome browser. Um, it needs to have that icon. Do not use Internet Explorer. Um, you can use Microsoft Edge. It's fine, right? But I recommend you use Google Chrome. It's, I have very little issues with it. Right. So once you've selected your browser go to uh, do a google search on unisa now the problem is sometimes your default search engine is not google.com maybe you've downloaded a lot of extensions and you've changed the default uh, search engine and you're not seeing unisa as the first result so maybe you'll just have to go to onto the web address at the top type in google.com so you're definitely at google right and then you type in unisa right and then yes you'll see unisa right at the top and you'll go to the website. This is definitely the best uh, and most surest way that you are going to go to the right website. If you're not getting to this site, maybe you're having issues or it's showing you issues with the um, certificates or showing you that it's offline or you have any issues up until this point or even up until this point, uh, actually going to your My Unisa and logging in. I'm currently already logged in <laughs> um, and logging in. Always make sure that you first restart your computer, see if it's maybe just something wrong with your computer. And also what you can try and do is restart your internet modem. So to restart your internet modem, or maybe if you're using your phone as a hotspot, restart your phone, right? If you do that, just switch it off, switch it back on, right? So don't reset anything because <laughs> you might lose your internet connection. Your whole house might, <laughs> might be uh, mad at you. Just plug the plug out, plug it back in just to gain access to to the internet again right um, so if you if you have tried that and you're still having issues try clearing your cookies and your cache so how do you do that there's numerous ways of doing it so most guys are going to show you go to the three dots at the top right go to the history go to history again go to clear browsing data and then selecting all time Selecting only cookies and cache and then clicking clear data. But this will clear all the cookies and all the cache in your computer, uh, but which isn't always necessary. And it, it's, it takes long. The quickest way you can do it is click on the padlock icon, click on cookies, click on remove until the list is clear. So if you're using a different browser, same principle applies. Remove everything that is there. And then hold down the control button on your keyboard the control CTRL and pressing F5. F5 as in the, the function key 5. This will do uh, the control F5 clears the cache when it reloads, right? And cook, clearing the cookies like that clears all the cookies on it. Like cookies isn't bad because it's just the data that is stored um, on the browser by the by the website. And all these things might be screwing with your um, with your login. The best um, way to, to, to clear the cookies and to actually clear it where the problem is. So if you're having a problem with the My Unisa site, clear the cookies at the My Unisa site, right? There's also another way of clearing the cookies that you can try and do if you're still having issues with the cookies is clicking on the padlock icon, clicking on site settings. There's a clear data over here that you can click. Just click on clear data there. And once you're back on the site, just reload, try logging in again. So if you still can't log in or you're getting maybe a, a, a site ban or 
getting a forbidden access, things like that. There's more things you can try. Try, for, uh, try clearing your SSL certificates. How do you do that? Click on the search um, or just perform a search on your computer looking for internet options. Internet options. Uh, yeah. So looking for that, go to content, click on clear SSL certificate, restart your computer, see if you can then access the site. If you still can't do it, try um, hard setting your DNS. So how do you do that? Right click, go to network connections, go to change adapter options, go to your Wi-Fi adapter, or if you're using a LAN, go to that, go to that IP version v4, and yours is probably gonna look like that. So just say, use the following DNS, click on 8.8.8.8, .8 and then the alternative one, 4.4.4, I know, sorry, 8.8.4.4. This is not going to break anything if it does, just change it back to the way it was. So close out of that, go back to your browser, refresh, see if you can have, you get access to it. Um, if you're still having issues, try the following, it's called a, a DNS flush. So search for CMD on your computer to get this command prompt. You can also look for command prompt, it is fine. Type in IP config forward slash flush DNS and that will flush your DNS try and access the site again like going through all the stuff see if you can access the site if you have tried all these things you've cleared your cookies you've restarted your computer restarted the router you've uh, uh, cleared the SSL state so restarted your computer again You've cleared the, uh, flushed the DNS, you've set your DNS, and you're still having issues. I think you've probably tried everything that you can on your side. There's, there's, there's maybe a couple more things that you can try. Maybe it's something just on your browser itself that you're using. There's a thing called the incognito window that you can try and use. So, new incognito window. So, this will actually clear all your cookies and cache and stuff that's stored on your browser. And it's like going into it with a fresh session. Um, you can try logging into it like that. Um, and then you can also try um, another thing. It's called the it's called the guest browser, right? So how do you do that? Is uh, once you're um, once you're on your browser, click on your picture at the top. Go into the guest mode and try doing everything again via the guest mode. See if that works for you. If it doesn't, oh well, you've tried it and it didn't solve your problem. All right, so that's as far as I'm going to try and help you. Um, if you've tried everything, you possibly could. That's fine. Um, then it's just doomsday for you man <laughs> just get your they, they, you need the it guys to help you but this should solve most of your issues cool stay legit stay awesome and um study hard